I've been hearing this from a lot of students. DALR, what happens is there's this vague thought at the back of the head, what if I'm not able to crack even one set? And it happens. It happens to 90% of the people. Why am I saying 90% of the people? Typically, in the last four or five years, if you get five questions right, one set right, it's 98th percentile. That means 90% of the people taking this exam are not getting one set right. So it's not a, an unusual problem. The best way to overcome it is, is, is to take previous year papers, whatever you've kept aside as mocks, set them aside. The rest, don't do them as mocks, don't do them as section tests, 2017, 18, 19, LRDA sections. One puzzle at a time, take it, don't have time pressure, write down all constraints, solve it, put it in the bag. You'll realize that when you're doing that, for the first four or five, you're taking 35 minutes, 40 minutes, 45 minutes, 25 minutes to do them. Soon enough, once you go to the set number 9, 10, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, you're solving one puzzle in 25 minutes, which is going to tell you, look, Jobio, ek to kari lunga. Whatever happens, I'm going to solve one set. That changes kind of the wiring in your head saying, look, I can solve one LRDI. Second one, I'll worry about later. One I can definitely solve. Don't have time pressure. Don't do section test. Don't do giant list of five, six. You have to remove this thought process of question selection variable. Very often that comes and messes with your mind. When you're in the exam, I've seen this happen to so many students where they say, look, 40 minutes, LRDI, one I'm doing, nine, 10 minutes. A part of my brain is saying, what if this is not the set that I can crack? I'll shift to the next one, nine, 10 minutes. 20 minutes down, I've not cracked anything. I'll shift to the third one. Then suddenly feel the first one I was close to cracking. It's 35 minutes. I just look at the clock, wind down for five more minutes. I'm off to quant. Now in the last 10 minutes, I gamble and say, this should be like that. I'll put three or two of them. Three of them are right. I get nine marks. Good, but, but, but no, probably not enough. Which means there is a mild uh, confidence issue where you're not saying backing yourself and saying, one set, so I'll definitely do. And that can come if you do one set at a time, 15 of them, you'll realize that any DALR set in CAT, I can crack. First, something might take 80 minutes, 90 minutes. I've taken DILR sets from CAT. It's taken me 50, 55 minutes to crack one set. I've told myself, bad day, now you arrive, I'm putting all kinds of wrong answers. My computation is wrong. In an exam, I would have never selected it. My slot would not have had all that deluding myself I'll do. But I've had that. It doesn't work. It doesn't work. But if you do 10 of those, you'll realize that the one set being murky is fine. But DILR sets per se are very much doable. And that shift where you go from one set also I won't do to any set I can do one. That shift that happens in your mind is magical. Please find it. Hush.